Hi guys, this is Sam from BoardAtWork.com and today we're having a look at the headphones from Braggy. Braggy uh, is the same company that brought you the Dash, which we did a review on the site. So please dig through our uh, videos and you'll be able to see a review of the Dash, which is in essence the bigger brother to this particular device. Now this is a newer device, it just came out this year, and the main, I would say the main feature here is the price point. While the Dash was $399, oh, I'm sorry, $299, this is coming out at the price point of about $150, $150, and uh, if you're in Europe, it's about $160, $170. Euros. So, you know, the price point is going to be very similar to the Apple EarPods because that's probably their main competitor here. But let's get back to the device and let's talk a little bit more about it, right? The device here um, comes with a carrying case and as you can see the carrying case comes with a lanyard here that you can hang over your neck. So a nice way to carry it around without, you know, bulking up your pockets. Now around the device here you have a uh, micro USB slot here. Um, for charging, in essence, this doesn't connect to a PC or anything of that nature because the headphones do not come with an onboard OS. Now, the rear here, nothing at the back. At the top is just the same slit you see, um, like you found in the dash. And I'll pop this out. And these are the headphones. Yep, they're just ear pods that um, are wireless and they're not connected in any way. You can pop them out. There we go. They have contacts on the rear of the device and contacts in the case as well. Now, the, don't be mist basically do not confuse this with the dash because the dash comes with a carry case that also doubles as a rechargeable battery. So, plugging the headphone on the dash into its carrying case actually charges the dash. But doing that with the headphones do not charge um, the headphones because we don't have. Um, a battery in here so all you do to enough to charge this is dock these back in here with a magnetic you hear the a snap same thing over here here a snap all right plug that in using a usb to your power source probably your pc and voila you get the charging now unlike the dash you don't get um different power leds or led indicators when it's charging you just see a flashing white light. So that's another difference. Now back to the device, right? The device itself has no buttons on the left and you can see three buttons on the right. Now the two top buttons are for your volume down on your left and volume up on your right and the bottom button here is your um, play pause button. Now if you double click the play pause button you basically skip ahead with a track and if you triple click it it skips backwards. Now, for the volume up button, if you double click that, it activates the um, active transparent or the audio transparency mode, which basically lets you hear what's going on around you by activating the mic in the device itself, so you can hear what's going on around you while your music is playing. And by double clicking on the volume down button, you cancel the audio transparency mode. Now, this is really, you know, all that you need to know about this device here. Now we've told you the price point, but uh, and we've told you the price point. We've, I've shown you the feature here, or the features of the device, and giving you a look around the device. But there's also, you know, a big difference towards the device itself. You can hear it's a little plasticky, but there's also a big difference between this and its big brother, uh, what I like to call its big brother, the Dash. This is significantly lighter, and why is it significantly lighter? It's lighter simply because. You know, this is made more of a plasticky material, right? And that also goes for the headphones itself. You can see the little um, gloss on there. It's pretty shiny, right? So when you put this in your ears, the fit is quite good. I, I will say that the fit is very well, um, it fits into your ear very well. However, it doesn't come with sleeves like the Dash does. I'll pop the Dash out right here. That's the Dash in the carrying case over there. Now. What does that mean? It means when you're working out, if it gets a little sweaty, um, I found that the headphones tend to slide out of my ears when it got a little, got a little too um, sweaty. I had to keep on adjusting to keep the, the headphones in my ear. However, for the Dash, because it did have the rubberized um, sleeve, it actually stayed in my ear 
a lot longer and fit a little better and was more comfortable because it has a little cushioning up here as you can see. Now, does that mean that the headphones aren't as great as the Dash? Not really, because when it comes to audio quality, we're looking at the same microphones and the same drivers that you find in the Dash in the headphones. So from an audio standpoint, no, you're getting basically essentially the same thing. The main difference here is there is an operating system in the dash, as well as um, the battery charger like we mentioned before. So this makes the dash a little bit more substantial. And the fact that the dash also being the premium um, device offering from Braggy, this is metal. So it has a, a better feel to it, a more quality build to it. The headphones on the other hand, a gear too much towards more of the mass consumer so it's made with products that bring the that drive the cost down uh, the cost of production down and also make it easier to produce um, to produce so that's why you're left with something seeming a little bit more plasticky now overall like i said the audio very similar so i'm not going to complain about the um the sound from either device but what's really notable in the headphones is that you do get six hours yes that is six hours of battery life from the headphones as opposed to the four hours on the dash and i should say for me the dash was closer to three than it was to the um to the advertised four hours but with the headphones I think it falls very close to the six hours. I'm actually, I was actually very impressed with how well it performed. Now, another thing to note is that, yes, these are Bluetooth headsets. And I've had issues with connectivity on the Dash. And I'm sure if you look at a, a lot of reviews out there, you would see issues with connectivity with the Dash, uh, especially with the range from your playing device or from your smartphone to the Dash itself. However, I didn't notice anything of that sort when, um, you know, when using the headphones, or I should say, I didn't notice as much of a pronounced issue with the headphones. There were there were issues with connectivity. However, it was when I had the headphones deep in, deep in a pocket that was farther away from my device. If I put the headphones on and I had my device, let's say, in my shirt pocket on the same side as the, on the right side, which is where a lot of the Bluetooth connectivity happens, I didn't run, to, uh, run into issues. Whereas when I've done that with the Dash, I have run into a few issues when I had a thicker jacket and things of that nature, but I haven't run into that issue with the um, with the headphones quite yet. Once again, the price differences in these are pretty large. Basically, the headphones are about half the price of the Dash, with the Dash running for $299, whereas the headphones in the United States running for about $150. And once again, this is Sam for BoardAtWork.com, and this is the Braggy the headphones from Braggy. And as always, enjoy your entertainment.